Seasonic, the heart of your system. We're doing two birds with one stone here because we're with Western Digital or WD, but they are also SanDisk. So here we have WD, SanDisk down the other end. Their premium brand is WD Black, which covers both internal and external drives, uh, SSDs, hard drives, the whole lot going on there. And then we get to SanDisk and we've got storage cards. So we're going to move down and see what shiny stuff there is to look at. External storage for your Xbox. You can keep all your games without having to delete anything. Here we have a two and a half inch hard drive, WD Black, powered over the USB cable. Xbox logo is just uh, to do their alliance with Microsoft. Further along, we have a great big three and a half inch drive in a large caddy. That obviously is powered. However, that can also power your uh, accessories, USB devices, it has two USB ports. You could even charge your phone while you're gaming. Here we have those two drives laid out on the bench away from the games console, so you can see them in uh, lots of space. Moving down the line, another two and a half inch drive, and then we have the Hero product, which is an NVMe. SSD with a USB Type-C connection. Uh, these products here were launched at Gamescom, so they are now a couple of weeks old, but they're still brand new. So hard drive, hard drive, SSD. You can see they work quite hard on the uh, branding and the look of the cases and such like, so there's a consistent look and feel, but internally that is completely different to the other products. Capacities of these drives are absolutely enormous. So the WD Black D10 in a three and a half inch casing goes up to 12 terabytes, which obviously is huge. Moving down the line, we've got the P10 external hard drive. That's a chunky two and a half inch drive, so it goes up to five terabytes, therefore would not fit in a laptop too large for that. SN750 we've seen previously, so that's an M.2 NVMe SSD up to two terabytes. And there we have the EKWB passive heatsink to keep your SSD cool when it's in your PC. Further along, we've got the P50 SSD, so essentially SSD in caddy up to two terabytes, loads of capacity and blazing fast. Further down, the D10, eight terabytes. And then the P10's variety of capacities, two, four, and five terabytes, depending on the exact size of the casing. In this demo build here, we've got a whole load of EK hardware, which obviously is to do the tie up with the uh, SSD heatsink. And there are two SSDs, one above the graphics card and one underneath. The fact they made it all black and black and black to do with the WD black does, of course, mean it's fairly tricky to see what the heck's going on inside the. Uh, PC. Western Digital has sold my passport external drives for absolutely years and the capacities continue to rise year on year. The new model this year is the 5 terabyte and you can see quite clearly the difference in size of the casings. They're glued to the bench so I can't lift them up. Uh, that's up to 2 terabytes. The 4 and 5 terabyte is that chunky fella there. Moving down to SanDisk, we have a unique product, which is a Compact Flash Express card Type B. Goes up to 512 gigabytes in capacity. Canon has just released a firmware update to support this new super duper fast storage, which has a read speed up to 1700 megabytes per second and a write speed up to 1400 megabytes per second. That's obviously for raw 4K footage. They haven't given us a price, but we're quite confident that 512 gigabyte card is going to be more than this one terabyte SD card. My guess is that's going to be past the thousand pound mark. I haven't had confirmation of that. My personal guess is 1200 pounds but I could be completely wrong going to be hellish expensive the one terabyte pro SD card UHS type 1 that's up to one terabyte in capacity pricing is going to be somewhere around about 800 whether that's pounds or euros is kind of a detail it's going to be an awful lot of money as ever the top end one is the expensive one if you come down to say 500 gig or whatever it's going to be considerably cheaper and then we have a couple of interesting products so here we have a flash drive up to 256 gigabyte, which is for you Apple types, and then it flips around to give you USB, so you can plug it into a laptop 
uh, and transfer your data. So that's of obvious interest. Try and put it in the, actually I'm going to leave it because I'll get it wrong. And here we have the iExpand wireless charger. So it's a Qi type charger. Put your phone onto wirelessly charge it. Uh, but there's some accompanying software uh, which will kick the Bluetooth into life and will back up your phone. So your pictures, videos and contacts will automatically be backed up. It's not the entire contents and not PDFs or Word docs or anything like that, looking for specific file formats. But if you don't have the cloud enabled and you don't back up your Android or Apple phone, this will do it for you while you're charging. There's a USB port in the rear, so you can then use it as a straightforward. Storage is inside the device, if that's not crystal clear. So it's backing up to this device, uh, up to 256 gigabyte, and then you can either get the data off it using uh, Bluetooth again, or you can plug a cable in the back and use it as a straightforward external drive. So this is either for the tech savvy or it's for the old folks in your life who don't know what backup is and you can't trust them to look after their photos. This could be a lifesaver. That was our quick tour of Western Digital and SanDisk. All good stuff here at EFA 2019. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the bell button, subscribe, and alert you to new videos as they become available. I'm Neil Wood for Kick Guru. This is Berlin 2019.